Hey, Tom Donnie here. Going to look real quick at heads, head gaskets, and squish. When you have your head milled, be sure to leave this area virgin. Your water pump gasket has to seal here, and if you mill this down, just like this has been milled, it just gets less and less. This was milled three mil, which is 120 thousandths. So tell your machine shop, and we do these right here in the house, love to do them for you. Um, but tell your machine shop, hey, give, I'll give you a gasket for a template, lay it on there, and just keep this area virgin so you don't have a water pump leak. A little bit on pistons, we do have all the way up to 75 millimeter in stock. And the last four digits tell you what the size of the piston, 70. Point zero zero or 75.00 excuse me here would be a 70.00 millimeter this would be a 74.5 millimeter head gaskets we're having them made by Kometic um, we've got bull nose we've got 750 cc and we've got of course long nose and they come you see this one says 43 thousandths I'm now having them made also in 59 thousandths so if you've got a head that doesn't have enough squish pocket, this pocket should be about 30 to 35 thousandths. Factory says 0.285, but most of the factory ones I've got, which I do have some NOS, are about 35 thousandths. So they'll get you close. But be sure you have a squish pocket in there. I bought an, a car a while back, and it had a rebuilt engine from a guy who does quite a few engines. And somewhere along the line, they forgot to put a bigger head on it. It had been rebored. And guess what? The head was hitting in this pocket. This one fits fine. It, we fit in there. Here's a 74 and a half. I can't use that piston with this head. It's going to hit. Well, we got a head gasket to think about too. So you also want to be sure your head gasket inside diameter is correct. And we make those in both 72 millimeter ID and 75 millimeter ID for the bigger ones. So be sure your head gasket has the right diameter in it or that's going to be the first thing the piston's going to hit. Of course, the head gasket, it can hit and bend, bend a hole, punch a hole, but it's not good to damage your fire ring. The head's a different story. Like I said, the gentleman that rebuilt the engine, he forgot to have the head opened up, and guess what? Every 120 degrees, this sucker made contact, pounded like mad, and was not going to work. It also had some really bad piston rings in it, so we went ahead and bored that out. Like I said, it was a fresh rebuild, still wrapped in plastic. We had to send it out and be rebored and uh, put good pistons and rings in it. So keep that in mind as you're doing your work. Heck, I've got an engine in here right now I'm rebuilding for a customer that's going to run at the Lorne Mile up in Maine. And he ran uh, a couple years ago, and he said, my little sob, he said, hell, he says, a John Deere tractor will outrun me. It's embarrassing. There's something radically wrong. It was supposed to be some high-end engine. I got it in and started looking at the head. It was a really awkward design. But the big thing they did, somewhere along the line, it had bigger pistons or was made that way with bigger pistons. And guess what? They never enlarged the pocket, never enlarged the squish area. So the piston was coming up. And every 100 degrees, it was banging hard on the head. It's really got hard, guys, to make horsepower when every 120 degrees, your piston's smashing into your head. Plus, it'll break your connecting rods, connecting rod main bearings, all that kind of stuff. It's not good. So if you need good pistons, we've got them. We've got them with the Keystone rings. These rings are a tapered ring that scrub as they go. You don't get carbon buildup. They're awesome for a two-stroke. That's what they were designed for. And, of course, we've got the different head gaskets with different IDs in here and different thickness now so we can do head work or block work whatever you need done so keep us in mind keep all this in mind when you have your engine rebuilt these cars are a lot of fun to drive um, they're very reliable if you set them up right and use quality parts if you don't you know why fight it I see guys call me all the time that have used inferior parts or are, are trying to do stuff with wrong equipment it's just not worth it. These cars are so much fun if you set them up right. Uh, with our modern rods now, we've eliminated that failure on the big end bearing. Um, boy, I tell you what, it's a good time to be owning an old two-stroke. So this is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge and Sturgis saying safe sobbing and uh, let's make some smoke.